जियोबाइट वेलकम टू जियोबाइट हाय स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस स्टार्ट चैप्टर 2 होल नंबर्स एंड लेट अस कवर द टॉपिक्स इंट्रोडक्शन सक्सेसर एंड प्रेडिसेसर होल नंबर्स द नंबर लाइन एडिशन ऑन द नंबर लाइन सबट्रैक्शन ऑन द नंबर लाइन एंड मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑन द नंबर लाइन इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस स्टार्ट चैप्टर 2 होल नंबर्स इन दैट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन राइट सी जनरली we call numbers 1 2 3 4 and so on right they come naturally when we start counting the numbers right so some mathematicians call them as natural numbers because they come naturally when we start counting like 1 2 3 4 right see we start writing from 1 2 3 Four and so on. So they come naturally. That is why we call numbers from one to infinite as natural numbers. Now let us see the next topic: predecessor and successor. Right? See now. Let us know about predecessor and successor. If you see what is predecessor. and what is successor let us take some examples see let me take number 16 right now my number is 16 now i want successor of this number i want successor of 16 so what will be the successor of 16 if we add 1 right If we add one to the number sixteen, we get successor of the number sixteen. That is sixteen plus one, seventeen. Now seventeen is successor of sixteen, right? Seventeen is the successor of sixteen. Now I want predecessor of 16 right predecessor of 16 what should i do i should subtract 1 if i want successor i am adding 1 if i want predecessor i should subtract 1 so 16 minus 1 is equal to 15 so 15 will be the predecessor of 16 right 15 is the predecessor of 16 with these examples i have shown what is the predecessor and successor of numbers now let us see the topic whole numbers right see first let us take natural numbers natural number starts from 1 so 1 2 3 4 and so on now these are natural numbers which start from 1 right natural number start from 1 now see will 1 have predecessor no since natural number starts from 1 there is no number before then we don't have any predecessor but the remaining numbers have predecessors and successors right for 1 we have 2 as successor and for 2 we have 1 as predecessor and 3 as successor and for 3 we have 2 as predecessor and 4 as successor so similarly one has only successor that is two but one does not have predecessor now right now if we add if we add zero to natural numbers
Now if we add 0 to natural numbers, see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Now when the numbers are starting from 0, that is when 0 is added to natural numbers, these type of numbers are called whole numbers. Right? These are whole numbers. So, when 0 is added to natural numbers, the collection of those numbers are called whole numbers. Now, we have predecessor for 1 that is nothing but 0. Right? Now, 0 is predecessor of 1 and 2 is successor of 1. Now, let us see the topic, the number line. Right? See, number line means... Let us take a line, right? Let us take a line and indicate numbers on that line. First, let me start with 0, right? So, 0 and let me take another point 1. Now, let us consider the distance between 0 and 1 is 1 unit length. Right? So, the distance between 0 and 1 is 1 unit length. Right? So, now with the same unit length, let us take more numbers. Now, the distance between 0 and 1 is 1 unit length. With the same unit length, let me take second number, sorry, third number, that is 2. Now, again with the same unit length, let me take 3. With the same unit length, let me take 4. With the same unit length, let me take 5. With the same unit length, let me take 6. And with the same unit length, let me take 7. So now, if you see, the unit length between two numbers is here 1. Now, if I ask, what is the difference between 2 and 5? What would you say? See, as I have taken one unit length in between each two numbers, so from 2, the distance between the 5 and 2 will be 1, 2, 3. Right? 3 unit length. So, it will be 3. Right? So, from 2 and 5, the difference will be 3 as we have taken 1 unit length, 2, 3. Right? So, like this, we can calculate on number line. Otherwise, you can count in jumps 1, 2, 3. So, now the difference will be, see, like this, that is 3 unit length in between these 4 numbers. Now, see, if I ask you to find out what is the successor of 6. See, successor means the next number of 6. That is, if we add 1 to that number, we get successor. For 6, successor will be the next number. That is nothing but 7. 7 will be successor of 6. And, and what will be the predecessor of 1? C. Predecessor means the before number. That is, we will subtract 1 to that number so that we get the predecessor. Here, we have 1 and the predecessor number will be 0 as it is the before number. So, the predecessor of 1 will be 0. Right? So, successor means the next number and predecessor is the before number. Now, let us see addition on the number line. See, here we have a number line. Now, let us see addition of the numbers in the number line. First, let us take 3 plus 4. 
that is let us add 3 and 4. Now where is 3? It is here. Right? From 3 if we jump 4 jumps. Right? From 3 if we jump 4 jumps we will get the answer as we need to add 3 and 4 and jumping 4 times onto the numbers. Now from 3 if I start 4 jumps that is 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? These are my 4 jumps from 3. Now see I came onto the number 7. Right? 3 and the unit distance between each number here is 1 unit length. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. The distance is also 4 units. And so when 3 and 4 are added, we come onto the number 7. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Now let us add 2 plus 3. Right? Let me take 2 and 3 addition. Now I should start from 2. Here we started from 3. Now here let us start from 2. Right? For addition we go towards the successor side. Successor is nothing but towards the next numbers. So for addition we go towards successor side. Now here also 2 plus 3. From 2 I need to go towards successor side. So from 2 plus 3 means I need to take 3 jumps from 2. 1, 2, 3. I came on to the number 5. Right? When I jumped 3 jumps from 2, I came on to the number 5. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So this is the method to add numbers on the number line. Now let us see subtraction on number line. Right? So let us take any two numbers for subtracting on the number line. So let me take 7 minus 5. Let us subtract 7 and 5 on the number line. See, for addition we have gone towards right that is towards successor side. Right? We have gone towards the right that is towards successor side. Now to find out subtraction we need to come towards left that is towards predecessor side. So now see 7 minus 5 we need to start from 7 that is coming towards left. So from 7 see from 7 we need to take 5 jumps towards predecessor side that is towards left side. Now See, first jump, second jump, third jump, fourth jump and fifth jump. So, 7 minus 5 started from 7 coming towards left took 5 jumps. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We came on to the number 2. Right? We all know 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 and we also got the answer 2 in number line. Now let us take another subtraction 5 minus 4. Right? 5 minus 4 is nothing but 1. Right? You know the answer directly. Now let us see on number line also. First we need to start from 5. That is towards coming left, that is predecessor side. Let us take 4 jumps. Start from 5 and take 4 jumps towards left. So from 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? These are my 4 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4. I came on to the number 1 only. So 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So this is the way to subtract on the number line. 
Now, let us see multiplication on the number line. Right? See, now I have a number line. Let us do multiplication on this number line. Let me take 2 into 3. Right? Let me take 2 into 3. Now, let us multiply 2 and 3 on the number line and find the answer. So, for finding the answer for 2 into 3, let us start from 0 and move that is towards right, right, move towards right in 3 jumps of 2 unit length each, right, 3 jumps of 2 unit length each, that is from 0, 2 unit length means we come on to 2, so first jump, First jump of 2 unit length and the second jump of 2 unit length and third jump of 2 unit length. Right? 2 unit length, 3 jumps. See, 2 unit length and 3 jumps. So, we came on to the number 6. Right? 2, 3 are 6. So, we got the answer correct. So, let me take... 4 into 2. Right? We have taken 4 into 2. Now, either we can take 4 jumps of 2 unit length or we can take 2 jumps of 4 unit length. Here also, we can take 3 unit length each and go in 2 jumps. And for this, we can even do 4 jumps of 2 unit length or 2 jumps of 4 unit length. So, let us take 4 jumps of 2 unit length. That is, you see, we need to start from 0. 2 unit length, 4 jumps. 2 unit length, 1 jump. Right? 2 unit length, 1st jump. 2nd jump. 3rd jump. 4th jump. 2 unit length and 4 jumps. We came on to the number 8. So, 4 2's are 8. We got correct answer. So, now let me take 3 into 3. 3 into 3. So, here we need to start from 0. We need to go in 3 jumps of 3 unit length each. That is from 0, 3 unit length. Means 1, 2, 3. We come on to the number 3. Right? 1 jump, 3 unit length and 1, 2, 3. Next we will come on to the number 6. Second jump, we come on to the number 6. And third jump, 1, 2, 3, we come on to the number 9. So, 3, 3 is our 9. Here both the numbers are same. So we have taken 3 unit length and jumps 3. So this is the way to multiply numbers on the number line. The remaining topics will be covered in the next video. You are welcome to contact us on telegram to clarify your doubts regarding these topics. Check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to Geobyte. Geobyte.